Now a little bit of the background information on this video. The iPad comes with the GarageBand app. It doesn't really come with the app but you can purchase it anyway. The GarageBand app allows you to play instruments using the touch function and I'll be showing you that in some time. Now the iPad, or sorry the GarageBand allows you to hook up MIDI instruments so that you can control the device and few of those for example the M Audio that's the one which I know of for sure that actually controls the GarageBand tools. Now the thing is that what if you have a keyboard which has a USB out like this one right here this is the Yamaha the PSR E433 this one only has a USB out it does not have a MIDI in and out port so what do I do now? So two questions basically first of all how do you hook it up and secondly does it work? These two questions are going to be the primary focus of our video right here. The first question, how do you hook it up? Well, that's pretty much simple in this one because the latest Yamaha keyboards, this one was released in June 2012, I guess. The latest ones are iPad friendly, which means that if you use the camera connection kit, this board right here, uh, let me focus yes good this one right here if you plug this point right to the area where you plug your charger on your iPad and this one with the USB you're good to go and you'll also be requiring another cable that's this one I'm not exactly sure what is it called but I pulled it off my printer and it works perfectly so this port right here this would go into the host and this port right here goes into the adapter which I just showed you so let me plug this in and I'll be right back alright I'm back now there you see the adapter connected with the USB point and the other end in the back side of the keyboard in the to host port now the sound which you hear right now coming straight from the iPad the local is off the sound comes directly from the iPad now what does that mean that means that if I was to actually change the sound right there on the garage band it changes it Yeah, I could play all this stuff now. So the setup is basically simple. It's not that hard. You may run into a few troubles or a few hiccups while you do the setup. Um, the first problem which I had was that GarageBand was not really picking up my notes. And a quick fix, if, if I could call it a quick fix of course, is that you hard reset your iPad. So you basically hold your home button right here and the power button and you press them both together till the screen goes black or blank yeah <laughs> and then you just restart your iPad that's it your garage band should pick it up. The second problem which you might have is that no matter what you do it still doesn't pick it up so make sure that this adapter right here is properly plugged in and so are your connections you don't really need to change anything on the keyboard I haven't set on or off any of the functions GarageBand just picks up your instrument it should um, apart from that like apart from GarageBand there is another app called Music Studio and Music Studio right here it would even show you the keys which you have been pressed. Of course, those keys went right out of the octave, so it's not visible. But if I was to play something in the octave which is shown right there, it shows. Apart from that, everything works perfectly, everything works fine. Um, 
I did compose a short piece on GarageBand itself. Let's see. Oh, it was this one. <laughs> right there yeah all sounds were recorded using the keyboard they were controlled by the keyboard and these are the instruments built in to the large band I'll stop this one right here because I'm not really sure if my microphone is actually picking up the sound or is it just making some noise so what I'll do is I'll export this one and I'll add this clip in the end of the video so that you can listen to the sound quality the sound is directly connected to the port right here it's not being picked up the microphone there are no latency issues none at all and um, I tried playing a few notes or I should say a few compositions as such slow fast whichever you want it will play perfectly it doesn't doesn't give you any issues as such um, yes a few technical specifications before I make a statement here that's the iPad third generation it is running the latest iOS 6.1.3 and it has the latest version of GarageBand so you may want to check which versions are you running just in case you run into some troubles apart from that another friendly advice I did purchase one of these camera connection kit 5 plus 1 in 1 um, it may work for other functions or it may work with other hardware I'm not really sure but then my iPad doesn't seem to recognize this thing so that's why I had to buy the um, genuine if I could say yeah the original iPad camera connection kit and um, yeah that's pretty much it so I hope this video helps if you have any questions anything you would like to add anything you would like to suggest or anything basically just drop in a comment send me a message and enjoy the music have fun See ya.